So there was a couple of things in my mind I wanted to clarify. Let's see if you can see me better over here. There's a couple of things I wanted to clarify about things I said in previous YouTube. There's a doggy. Hi, doggy. <laughs> previous YouTube videos. So one of them was that I wasn't gonna go down you know how every week we cut down carbs? It's always your weight in pounds times some factor for your carb goal each week, and each week it goes down. Well, I had originally said I'm not gonna do my new weight each week, but after week two, I, I said I changed my mind. I'm gonna do it the right way, and I'm going to change my goals every single week based on my new weight. So that's what I did. Another thing I kind of wanted to modify was the salad dressing that I used in last week's videos. I said you can make your own with lemon juice and what else was it? You could do olive oil, you could do vinegar, you could do a little bit of mayo or veganaise to make it kind of creamy. Doggies. Or I said you could buy store-bought salad dressing. And I just kind of wanted to go back there because for a couple days I was using my favorite salad dressing which is Ken's Steakhouse Creamy Caesar. And although it only has one gram of carbs, perhaps it's not the healthiest salad dressing. So. I ended up, after a couple days of using Ken's Steakhouse Creamy Caesar, decided to go back to making my own dressing and not making it creamy because that has a lot of calories and it's processed. So I decided to do a better thing and make my own dressing. So I used a little tiny sprinkle of vinegar. I used a squeeze of fresh lemon a drizzle of olive oil and I think that's it really and it was good and I ate it just like that so you don't need to make it creamy and add the extra fat if you don't necessarily want to not to say though you also need a good starting point if you're not somebody who's gonna eat a salad without a delicious fatty dressing then that's a good starting point for you it's going to be better than what you are eating fast foods you know a salad with a fatty dressing is going to be more nutritious probably than what you're already eating so that's a good stepping stone to make a transition to um a healthier you know hey dog stay here who's a good dog yes you are this dog likes to give hugs by the way you want to give me a hug Good job. Okay, anyway. Okay, get down. Good job. <gasps> good job. What was I saying? Um, so it's just a good stepping stone to get a store-bought salad dressing until you learn to like the salads and then eventually, hopefully, you can drop the bad salad dressing and make your own salad dressing or find a healthier salad dressing that's not loaded with that much fat and sodium and bad things so there's my spiels hope you enjoyed them moving on hey guys it's thea thanks for tuning in just sharing my weight loss journey with you guys after three weeks here we are i've lost about six pounds and almost one percent body fat not too shabby here are my results. Here we go in slow-mo. Wink, wink. I just wanted to show you my progress pics. And now we're gonna get on to the good stuff. What's in it for us for week four diet? Week four diet, we're finally here. What a crazy time. Week four is seriously low carbs, yo. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So for a week four diet, I have carbs calculated out for the first two days, which I'm allowed 
58 carbs. Days one and two is 0 0.47 times your body weight. So basically it's the same menu except I cut some things out to cut the carbs each couple days. But we basically had egg spinach breakfast with cottage cheese and I cooked it two different ways and you'll see one is I put the spinach in with the egg whites to cook it. Kind of an omelet or you can cook the egg and then serve it on top of the raw spinach. Either way is fine. For post-workout, the first couple days, I put powdered peanut butter in there. It adds five carbs to the diet. But then I removed that further down the, down the ways there to cut some carbs. The first couple days I modified the recipe and I used hemp milk, less powdered peanut butter, and the modifications you see here. Uh, my bedtime shake, the first couple days I was allowed some banana. I cut that out as we went down the week. For my meatballs, those were really easy. I just rolled in one ounce of brown rice with, I actually ended up using 93% lean ground beef instead of turkey, but you could do either one. And I did four ounces of green, uh, ground beef instead of 4.5 ounces of turkey. I served it with 100 grams of asparagus. I did not cook this in any oil. I topped it off with salsa. It was really good and really easy. I just rolled in the brown rice with the meat and cooked it on the pan. And then here is a snack I had. It was two hard boiled eggs, two pickles, the sandwich style, dill style, Texas peat hot sauce and veganaise, or you could do mayonnaise. I happen to have veganaise at my house. And then for dinner, chicken on top of romaine lettuce leaves. You could either make this as a salad or I made it as just as lettuce wraps. I like to eat lots of olives and pickles because those are almost zero carb snacks. So as you can see the total for the day, I have 57 carbs, 145 grams protein, and then around 1300 calories. So that's basically it. If you look at days three and four, it's a very similar diet except I made a few modifications. So the first four days I had bread, but then on further down, you'll notice there's no bread on days five and six, there's no bread. Days three and four, I just use a half scoop protein with water and ice in the blender. Whereas the first couple days you'll notice, I had a lot more in my pro one of my protein shakes. I had peanut butter and um, I think I used hemp milk actually the first day, days three and four. So I cut out peanut butter. I cut out, what else did I cut out? I had to go down from 58 carbs to 43 carbs. So I cut out peanut butter. I cut out the banana in my bedtime shake. And I think that's it. That's all I cut out. Moving on to days five and six. This is 0 0.28 times your body weight in pounds. So I was only allowed 34 calories. So definitely there was no bread with breakfast. My protein shake was minimal, it was just protein powder and water ice for the first protein shake. Again, no bananas anymore. When you get down to only 30 something carbs, you can't really have fruit because fruit has carbs. What did I cut? I, oh, I cut out the bread. And what else did I cut? I feel like I cut something else. 
I think what I ended up cutting out, I don't know if I messed up my math somewhere. I think this was a typo. So I actually think I ended up cutting out the rice. That's what I did. Yeah, I ended up cutting out the rice. So that saved me seven carbs. Since I have this chart itemized by your ingredients, and you know you have to cut from 43 carbs to 34 carbs, you can kind of go through your list what has about that many number of carbs and just cut those items out of your diet for your next couple days. And then the very last day, which was um, my photo shoot day, you can actually have carbs. So instead of going by, you can up your carbs here, but instead of going by Chris's plan for day seven, I actually scratched this and I found a different suggestion online two hours before your pictures to have this much macros. At least 20 grams of protein, at least 40 grams of carbs, and at least 15 grams of fat. So I had some small tiny rice cakes with some peanut butter, and then I had some egg whites with potato and pickles before my photo shoot. So that was our meal plan for week four. So we made it to the end of the four weeks, yay! I just wanted to show you that it is possible to make significant changes in your body in four weeks. In a matter of four weeks, I went from 130 pounds to 122.9, so basically 123 pounds. So I lost seven pounds, and also I started out at 18.5% body fat, and according to my scale, which may not be accurate, but on the same scale, I dropped 1.2% body fat, so I am now at 17.3% body fat according to my scale. I'm really happy about my results. I do want to tell you about some of the modifications that I personally did to Chris Geffen's Four Weeks to Shred program, which I think is a fabulous program. It does four days a week of strength training, and then you're supposed to do cardio twice a day every day. So I killed it on the strength training. I didn't miss a single strength training um, appointment or exercise that I had scheduled for myself. I did swap a couple days around but essentially I still got all four in within the same week. Another modification that I did was with regarding to the strength training. You ladies may be interested in knowing because Chris is a man and he is focusing on man parts. So he only does legs, lower body, once a week on his program. So I modified that and on the days that he does chest, I do another lower body exercise day, so I'll focus on glutes on that day. So two days of the week I did um, lower body and two days of the week I did upper body so that it's not so upper body focused. Um, you know us ladies, we wanna have the nice legs and glutes going on, so that's another modification that I personally did to the four weeks to shred. I also killed it on the diet, making sure that all of my macronutrients matched, specifically carbs and protein match Chris's formulas. Every single week you drop carbs and I followed that to a T in terms of the macronutrients. Um, so that was really good. Where, um, where I feel like I kind of failed a little bit is the cardio because Chris recommends you do cardio twice a day, every single day at least 30 minutes twice a day, and then I think it grows every single week. So that's where I failed. Now the first two weeks I did take it kind of easier, walking at a leisurely place, doing exercise videos, but not doing them at full intensity. So the second two weeks I did really pick it up, but I wasn't able to do it twice a day every day. I did twice a day some days, not twice a day, every day. So that was one struggle I had. Some other pros and cons. The pros was you actually had a lot more time. Um, there was less time being spent cooking food because I wasn't cooking as much food. For example, one of my meals was rotisserie chicken and lettuce and mayonnaise and olives. It took me no time to cook. 
super duper easy. So I wasn't spending as much time cooking. I wasn't spending as much time doing dishes. And I wasn't spending as much time eating, quite frankly, because I wasn't eating as much. So it was really great that I had some free time, that I could um, do some other things. That was a, a pro to the program. One of the cons to the program, I would say, would be the brain fog. Low carb is hard because it makes you feel lethargic. I kind of had a low grade headache going on constantly. Sometimes I felt a little lightheaded and just the brain fog, not being able to think of the right words when I wanted them, that was a little frustrating. But I don't believe that you should eat low carb like this all the time, it just depends on your goals. So what's your goal? If your goal is to lose weight, these calculations for your macronutrients is something that you can follow easily. What's your goal? If your goal is to maintain your weight, you can just as easily Google calculations based on your weight, what you need in terms of your macronutrients to maintain your weight. What's your goal? Is your goal to gain weight? Then you'll just start eating you know, more calories than you normally would and probably higher protein and more carbs. It's not healthy to eat this low carbs all the time. That is not something you should do, and I can't stress that enough. Um, carbs are very important, and, and if you do something like this, it definitely needs to be temporary. There's just a balance, and you need to eat according to what your body needs and according to your goals as well. I guess that's it. I really enjoyed this program. I'm happy with my results. Chris Gethin has many free programs available at his website, and um, you don't have to do his programs. You can do anybody else's programs. I just like his because they're good. He has daily trainers, video trainers that you can watch and follow along with him. He has high quality supplements if you're interested in any of his supplements. I believe in his um, supplements that they are high quality and they're what they say is in there. I believe him. Um, he has tests and stuff to back it up. So I'm not saying that you should take all those supplements by any means, but um, you know, he has good protein powder. I buy his casein powder. Um, what other supplements did I use from him? I used glutamine and oh, BCAAs. That will help with your recovery. So um, if you're interested in that, um, he has a great line of products called Cage Muscle. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by him. I just love him, so just putting that out there. This is just something me and my boyfriend wanted to do, and we're a big fan of his, so that's why I'm recommending him. But, you know, there's a num numerous other training programs you can follow that I'm sure you can get great results with. So my thought that I'm leaving with you is just to be inspired to take care of your body. And if you want to change your body in a certain way, just identify what is that way, and then you can determine what you need to do to get it that way. P.S. guys, I'm probably taking a little bit of a break from YouTube. I have some other projects I'm trying to work on, and um, although I am going to be entering a maintenance phase now because I'd like to stay where I'm at, I don't know that I'll be making videos about that kind of thing as regularly just because I do have another project going on in addition to my full-time job. So um, something's got to go. So I'm going to take a break from you, YouTube, for just a little while, but I'll come back this summer probably. Keep me in mind and hopefully you'll remember me when I come back. Mwah. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for following the series with me. Did you do the program? Let me know. What did you think? Comment below. And don't forget to flex. Dance a little. Woo! And have some fun. Love you guys.
Let's get shredded. Thank you.